There is a Bible quote in Luke that few people really understand. It is this, Luke 12, 34. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Well, what is your treasure? What is my treasure? What is the treasure that we should seek? All of humankind is engaged in what I like to call a treasure hunt. It is a colossal worldwide treasure hunt. Some people seek treasures from earthly sources, uh, the casino or trinkets of material wealth uh, or even fame, public acclaim. Others seek spiritual treasures and that is what we must seek first by making God the cornerstone of our lives. And when we do so, we'll find out the great secret, and that is that when we put God first, other things from the outside are attracted to us as well. What kind of treasure hunter are you? Are you caught up in the demands of everyday living so that you sometimes allow the search for worldly treasures to become your absolute primary focus. If so, take a few moments right now to recognize and to reform yourself. Also, to redo your to-do list by placing God in God's rightful place. Number one, first. I used to have signs all over to remind myself, signs that said simply two words, God first. To remind myself every day and every moment of the day to put God first, instead of other things first. Well, when you do this, when God becomes your primary focus, you find the treasure. And when you find the treasure, you find everything in life that you're seeking, even though you don't know that you're seeking it. Don't allow anyone or anything to separate you from your heavenly God. The world's treasures, they are difficult to find. They're also impossible to keep. God's treasures are available to you, to all that seek God, and they are everlasting. So make the treasure hunt a hunt for God, because a hunt for God is something where you will find your treasure, because God has already found you. God bless your day, and God bless your life.